Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to downgrade or upgrade to iOS 12.4, whether you're going from an older firmware, say iOS 12.1.2, or a newer firmware like one of the iOS 13 betas. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get over to iOS 12.4, so that way you can take advantage of the brand new jailbreak that just got released. So if you're jailbroken already, say on iOS 12.1.2, one of the things you can do to prepare your device to restore, just one thing to check off the list, is to just go in the Uncover app and make sure restore root FS is enabled and then press jailbreak. It'll go through and then you'll see this notice letting you know that root FS is going to basically kind of erase the jailbreak data on your device. Go ahead and press okay and it'll do its thing. And then when you come back up, you should be in an unjailbroken state and you should no longer see Cydia on your device. You're also going to want to head over to the website in the description down below, ipsw.me, and find the 12.4 IPSW for your device. In my case, I have an iPhone 6S, so I'm just going to go ahead and select the 12.4 IPSW for that device. And then once I do that, it's just as easy as downloading that, and then we're ready for the next step. Real quick, one more thing before we get started. If you do have a Mac, go ahead and go into the software update section on your Mac. And under the list of updates, if you see you do have an update saying iTunes device support or something along the lines of that, make sure you update that. I say that because if you actually go through this restore in iTunes, if that is not updated, there is a chance that this will not work and you will not be able to get to 12.4 the way that you might want to, obviously, while still keeping your data intact. This goes without saying, you're also going to want to ahead of time make a backup of your device so that way you don't lose out on any of your data and that's just the safest way to do it. Make sure that you have everything backed up. The next step is of course plugging your device into your computer and once you do that, it should pop up in iTunes. There were a lot of weird things going on after the jailbreak came out today with 12.4. At first, people thought that Apple stopped signing at OTA. There was confusing things going on. So it was actually interesting to see the pop-up that said that 12.4 was available because some people had said that Apple actually removed that. And the latest firmware according to iTunes, I believe was something like 12.3.1. So now the next step is holding down the option key on Mac and the shift button on Windows and then going ahead and selecting the IPSW that we downloaded earlier, the 12.4 IPSW. And once we do that, it will basically say iTunes wants to restore your phone and verify the update with Apple. It wants to restore it to iOS 12.4. So we're going to go ahead and press restore. And once we do that, the process should start. Now, this, for whatever reason, took a lot longer than normal. I think it's because Apple servers were getting hammered today because a lot of people were going and upgrading and downgrading their devices to 12.4. So I think that's the reason why this restore took me a while. So if it takes you a long time for whatever reason, that might be the reason why I sped this up a lot because today was such an unexpected day for the community though. The 12.4 jailbreak just randomly happened and I don't think anyone was expecting this kind of crazy, super excited to hopefully see the community kind of reinvigorated because it's been a very long time since we've had a jailbreak for the current sign firmware that's going on right now. This is the latest version, 12.4, as of the recording of this video. So that's the big reason why I'm making this tutorial and why you might want to downgrade or upgrade to iOS 12.4 because right now this is the latest firmware and you're able to jailbreak this iTunes also let us know that the restore is done and now we can go ahead and restore from our backup that we made earlier. And this also took a lot longer than I was expecting. I guess depending on how much you have on your phone, that will depend on how long it takes. So you might be sitting here for a little while if you had a lot on your device. So just sit back, grab a cup of coffee, some popcorn, just sit here for a little while because it's gonna take a little while and it took me a little while, but because I sped this up so much for you guys, it almost seems like there was no wait time at all. You can see the backup is just about to conclude any second. So we're gonna go ahead and wait until it's done. And it looks like it has now finished. As it says, the settings for your iPhone have been restored. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the iTunes window. 
and here it is it just popped up in itunes and itunes does verify that it is now on ios 12.4 and as soon as we get to the lock screen i can go ahead and start the setup process Now there's a couple more things that we can do in the setup process and now we get welcome to iPhone so we can go ahead and tap get started. And once we do that, we can verify that this iPhone is running 12.4. It was just that easy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like this video. What do you guys think about this whole surprise release of this 12.4 jailbreak? Let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on to never miss out on a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, this is David signing out. Have a good one, guys. Peace.